tonight, only on Happening.fun. We are attractions. We are casino events. We are nightlife. We are festivals. We are concerts. We are Florida events. We are movies. We are sports. We are live performance with your host, Napoleon Plays, with your moderator, Al Ferguson. Celebrities and interviews, Tony Bennett, Madonna, Let's Plan Ahead, Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade, New Year's Eve Key West Shoe Drop, Out and About, Smart Ride 16, Circuit Festival Miami, Around Florida, Disney Studios Galaxy's Edge, Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, The Fun Five, Mega Mix Beer and Music Festival, Veterans Day. It's all happening tonight on South Florida's most popular live source for things to fun. Only on Happening.Fun. <laughs> well, good evening, South Florida. <laughs> we are really excited to uh, be with you again. This is Happening.Fun. We are South Florida's source <laughs> for things to fun. And we do all kinds of fun things. And we're going to tell you in the next 30 minutes the best fun things to do this Boom. week and more. Of course, as All you know, far. I'm your uh, moderator for Happening.Fun, Al Ferguson, and this is my cohort in crime, my partner, host, Napoleon Plays. Good Howdy evening, everybody. Napoleon. Lovely to be here. Yeah, it's going to be fun, and we have a special guest host with us tonight. What? Uh, <laughs> you know this guest host from Top Chef and also from the new uh, Food Network, Cutthroat, Chef Josie. Yeah, um, that's me, baby, right and, here. And we're broadcasting with Chef Josie from her right. great restaurant. That's right. We're here at Bubbles and Pearls here on Wilton Drive in South Florida, the sexiest place on planet Earth. And we are here having an amazing time, smelling some good foods, and getting ready for the things to fun. Oh, yeah. And, well, you know, Bubbles and Pearls is a hip, chic little restaurant located in the heart of all the fun on Wilton Drive. We're popping oysters, we're popping bottles, and we're serving up some of the best food on the drive. I was we, ready for popping hearts. but Yeah, you know. and uh, just like uh, Kathy Lee, we're popping your uh, wine. <laughs> and I'm Big girl glasses. <laughs> Don't even get water here. Right? Pumped exactly. over, not, not, not even a, a, a sip. Uh, we're not South Florida. Josie, <laughs> Chef Josie and I are hoping that you're quiet for the next 27 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I, we're not, That's uh, not right. like Napoleon. Right. All right. Well, uh, Happening.Fun is a, a show that tells you about all kinds of fun things to do in South Florida. First off, let me remind you that we are live. Yeah. This is a live show. We're not reading from teleprompters. This is nope. not pre-recorded. This is a live show, and anything can happen, and it usually does. So stay tuned. Josie's going to do something crazy, I'm sure. That's all Absolutely. the time. But you can help us out at it's home. It's in the make stars. Sure, make sure that you guys uh, <laughs> like and subscribe. And make sure to share the video as well in the lower right-hand corner. Click the share button. We want to make sure you get this to your friends. That's right. Happening.fun, first off, let me tell you, has a presenting sponsor. And our presenting sponsor uh, for Happening.fun uh, is Barbara Warren Lowly, a very famous immigration attorney here in South Florida. Uh, immigration and uh, deportation questions, same-sex marriage uh, petitions, et cetera, and so on, all kinds yeah. of things Any kind uh, of injury you got that there. are unique. This is not something you would normally see in Mississippi, uh, but you definitely see it in South Florida. And so all the weird that, laws over there. That's right. That's our uh, presenting sponsor. And, uh, I'm sorry, and, go yeah, ahead. And, and do you have an event or um, you know, a, a special event or um, um, project that's going on that should be featured here on the most popular source to things to fun, it's very easy to contact us. Just submit your email or your event to uh, submit at happening.fun. Absolutely. I can't wait for you guys to. I want to go to all of the events. That's right. We want to know about you and what is important uh, in South Florida. So with that in mind, let's jump right in. Ooh, I'm ready. Here's this week of Happening.Fun. We begin with our first segment called Celebrities and Interviews. 
Napoleon, I guess you probably already knew this, that basically uh, South Florida is one of the preeminent places in the world, not only where yeah. celebrities live, but all celebrities you visit. You can go celebrity sightseeing here very easily. Probably yeah. they don't like it, but that's yeah. okay. You're not coming. And Napoleon knows that because he's <laughs> desperately trying to become a celebrity. It's true. I do have a couple of stories of stalking Kate Winslet or Zachary Quinto through New York. Yeah. That's, that's for another time. And hey, I got lots of friends, Napoleon. Yeah. Hang out with <laughs> right. me. I was going to say, <laughs> if they were friends, you and I are going to talk them. and we're going to one up. All right. <laughs> let's, let's move right in. Uh, to our celebrities and interviews this week. Let's so, go. celebrity and interviews number three, Il Devo, Woo. Uh, the coolest operatic pop band. Uh, it was founded by Simon Cowell, presented and also uh, promoted. It's a multinational member band, Spain, Switzerland, the U.S., and they're going to be at the Fillmore Miami right. Beach December 4th. Uh, their concert stops at 8 p.m. I've got to say popera right now, just because we've got that portmanteau right there. Pop, <laughs> opera, popera. We're pop ready. Opera. Man, you, you know they've been around for a very long time. You they know, have like over 10 interestingly albums. Interestingly enough, let's start the microphone drop immediately. I've seen El Devo in concert. And you know who I saw? They were the opening act for... Barbara Streisand. <laughs> it was course. an awesome, awesome show. <laughs> of course, that is December 4th at the Fillmore, Miami Beach at 8 o'clock. Don't miss it. What's Our next? number two celebrity interview, celebrities and interviews this week is somebody from a real different generation, and that is Tony Bennett. Oh, I love The that. velvet crooner himself. Oh. He's in a league all by himself yeah, now. Yeah, he did an album with Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, right? he That did. was a couple years ago. For, uh, for, it was do a you first, know who Tony Bennett is? I, I have a little bit of experience with Tony Bennett. Yeah. I, I respect her for having partnered with him, quite frankly. He is a legend in his uh, own right. Oh, wait. I, I respect Tony Bennett for partnering with Lady <laughs> Gaga. <laughs> is it a little like, like us when we have to talk to each <laughs> exactly other? Exactly right. New? He, he's amazing. Uh, uh, he's in his 80s and just absolutely stunning. He's going to be at the new Hard Rock Live, you know, the big oh guard God, guitar so hotel. Beautiful. And the brand new venue, Hard Rock Live, on December 8th at 7 p.m. And, and that's our number two. And then our number one in celebrity and interviews. The only Madonna <laughs> at the Fillmore Your Miami favorite. Beach. I know. I, <laughs> who wouldn't go to see Madonna if you had an opportunity to oh, see Madonna? Absolutely. And this is a different experience. Uh, if you could watch this, we're going to have a fun video for you. Everything Madonna. How you doing, man? Who is it? Obviously me. You told me to come over. Yes, my God, I'm so surprised you came. <laughs> I know I invited you here for a hey, specific listen. reason. Had a long day. Can I have a drink? Come in. Come right. in. Cheers. Mm. I want to tell you something. I haven't told anybody else. You're the first person I'm telling. Please tell okay? me. It better be good. I'm going on tour. Well, I mean, I, I would expect so. Okay, but I'm going on a special tour. I'm... What are you doing? The stadiums? Mm-mm. Arenas? Nope. Coliseums? No, no, okay. no, no. What are you doing? I'm going on a theater tour. Are you crazy? People didn't believe in Einstein either. They thought he was a quack. He didn't go on tour. He discovered the theory of relativity. What? what explain that to me. Have you experienced the magic of a theater? Listen, I'm a DJ. The intimacy of a theater. Why what would you do be? that? Because I want to have an intimate experience with my fans. With Well, your fans do love you, so it might be nice. So you think it's a good idea? No, it's terrible. We need, we need to make some money. Okay, but don't you think that after I do this for a little while, People are going to start hiring me to special like parties, like bar, no. bar mitzvahs. We're not doing bar weddings, mitzvahs, Madonna. We Look at me and you like together, like talking, like this kind of intimacy. I kind of like this idea. We're just going to vibe with each other. It's going to be a vibe. We're going to get close. I like It's that. good. You, you see better with one eye, right? I've taken a nap. <laughs> Madame X is going on tour. A theater tour. She had to explain what the theater was, but it really is different for her, an intimate experience. I'm ready for her sitcom after watching that commercial. It feels Who's like that's about that to uh, Anyway, <laughs> December 14th to the 22nd, she will be there at 8.30 or so. Which uh, means probably show up at 10. 10, 10.30, have, have a couple <laughs> drinks, have a free According date beforehand. According to Napoleon, at least. Wait, let's drop another mic. Have you been to Madonna? Have I been to Madonna? Well, I, I can't wait till the day that I can <laughs> yes. I performed with Madonna. Have you just seen her? I mean, come on. I didn't quite hear an answer, uh, but yes, I've been to Madonna. I've been in the front row the at Madonna. Madonna. At a Madonna concert. At a Madonna. <laughs> yes. A Madonna <laughs> concert. 
Madonna, Madonna concert. At the All right. Madonna. Uh, that, <laughs> right. That like is, the art piece. That's the number one celebrity in interview. I'm having so much fun dropping some mics on you tonight. We have an interesting sponsor for Happening.Fun, and it is the Gainza Law Group. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Gainza Law Group is based here in Fort Lauderdale, Hilta, and Juan Gainza. Uh, they're in Fort Lauderdale, and they are specializing in personal injury, uh, car, motorcycle accidents. I recently, this spring, got surgery from a personal injury fall, and, and it I comes did not really push value. It. I promise you, I did not uh, yet. I'm getting ready to call Hilda and Juan uh, <laughs> Uh, Gainza uh, um, from the admission that we just heard. A sponsor at uh, Happening.Fun uh, tonight. We're going to move into another segment uh, block here at Happening.Fun, and it's called Let's Plan Ahead. Now, Josie, you know this. I'm not sure Napoleon does. Okay. But if you want the best tickets, what do you got to do? You got to plan ahead. Plan ahead, exactly. Apparently, I'll just call Al Ferguson Let's, next time. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, because now if you wait until the last minute, you're going to end up paying uh, premium yeah. prices, or you may not even get your ticket. That's right. So stress. why don't you tell us something about Let's Plan Ahead? So Let's Plan Ahead number three, Super Bowl. Wait, 50. wait. S S <laughs> Super Bowl? Did you see how excited I was? Super you Bowl. You get the sports. Yes! Uh, you know, I played football back in the day. Yeah. New York Sharks right here. Right. Shark till we die. Uh, but so Super Bowl 54 right here in Miami. We live Super Bowl. You have Shakira and J-Lo. I think we one. have a video, a little tease about uh, the oh, Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Okay, will, so I watch this. Watch J-Lo and Shakira. <laughs> 305, the magic city. Yeah, she's pretty. But it's not about the lights, camera, action, cars, and views. It's about the spirit and the pride of the people that remain true. Miami puts culture and cultura. It's a powerful mix with the right energy, right vibe. All types of people, it's a melting pot, all one tribe. We don't need to look around, we always got the right sound. From bachata to merengue, salsa to bass music, hip hop to EDM, we let the whole world in. We're homegrown and home team. The bottom where dynasties have been built. We don't sleep, we live dreams. From South Beach to over the bridge From Little Havana, over town, Little Haiti, Wynwood <laughs> Alapata, Liberty City, Carroll City, Opelika, it's all good <laughs> From down south, Homestead, Ghouls P. Rand, South Miami, Sawa said that we all cool At the bottom of the map, but we're always on top Hosting Super Bowl 54, making history 11 Super Bowls, we produce the most NFL players And that's no mystery yeah, we have glamour. Yeah, we have glitz. So it's going to be taking place at Hard Rock Stadium, February 2nd. The game starts at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you know where your tailgate parties are and get your menu, your football menu, ready. Yeah, and you can basically plan ahead any time. Like one in five Super Bowls is here for in Miami. So I am so sad place. that I can't say I've ever been to a Super Bowl. I never have. All right, you're coming to at least a tailgate it's with me this year. in my backyard. I'm so <laughs> Excited. And by the way, Super Bowl uh, Roman numerals L I V. Yep. Live. Live. Live the Super Bowl. It's great. Let's move on and tell you the uh, let's plan ahead number two thing to plan on. I have been to this and it's lots of fun. It's called the Winterfest Boat Parade. Okay. We're in November. That Ooh. means Christmas is right around the corner. And Man, the biggest God. Christmas boat parade in the entire world is in our backyard. Yeah, this yeah. is really Major neat. viewing point at the Bahia Mar Yachting Center, but all along the intercoastal, hundreds of decorated boats in the biggest yeah. uh, Christmas holiday lit boat parade in the world. You can basically go anywhere along the route and have an amazing time. And it's pretty intimate, too. A lot of people yeah. come, but because it's a long space, you can make it anything that you want. Yeah, it to great be. date, great family night, everything. Yeah. Now, uh, let's continue with our theme. Uh, Napoleon, you've been here in South Florida from Maryland for a long time. I have. How many... Uh, Fort Lauderdale Winterfest boat parades. Have you been to? Honestly, I've been to about three of them, and this time, <laughs> yeah, you? this year I've done them all a different way each time. This year I'm going to do it in a very, very new way. This year I'm going to be on a boat, and I'm going to be decorating for it. So oh, I'm really get to experience awesome! It. That My roommates is... have one. I'm going to get a whole Jewish That's thing going great. on. It's December 14th, 6:30 p.m. You can purchase stadium seats on the Intercoastal, or there's tons of parties to let's plan ahead. Something for everyone, and then. Number one in our Let's Plan Ahead is the Key West New Year's Eve 
shoe drop. I know a lot of you might be familiar with the ball drop in New, in New York, but this is something completely different. At the New Orleans house, you have a giant stiletto shoe so that just cool. drops it down. They put their foot down. Like yeah, the crystal it ball in yeah. Times It's like the crystal ball, but it's yeah. got a lot more character, and it really has oh, the vibe of the U.S. Yeah. How perfect. I, have you ever gotten to ride that shoe? How about that? Let's skip that if you Actually, seen drop. Actually, interesting enough, in our name drop game, uh, where <laughs> Sushi was broadcasting... I was actually on the balcony right behind Sushi as she dropped New Year's Eve. I believe it was three years ago. Right there. Uh, wow. You see that when she came down? It was that lots like of fun. That looks like a lot of fun. No wonder she tried and to by the way, uh, New Year's Eve is something you should begin to plan ahead on now. Oh, Where are sure. you going to be yeah. at midnight and who are you uh, going uh, to be kissing? Apparently Duval Street, everybody that shows up. Look how many fun people are right there having a good time. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. a good new resolution, right? <laughs> and that's, that's uh, what we suggest to you for Let's Plan Ahead. Let's move out into a segment that we call Out and About. I don't know if you all know this. Josie, I don't know if you've heard, but South Florida has one of the largest gay communities in America. Oh, I heard. We affectionately at Happening.Fun call it the gayest place on yeah. planet but it's, Earth. But it's stuff Absolutely. that anyone can do. It's, yes. it's fun events True. that are off for anybody. True. It's a good community. So uh, let's talk about out and about events. So out and about number three. We have the Onyx Deep South anniversary, and this is going to be hosted during the Eagle Grand Opening. And now, the Eagle Fort Lauderdale uh, and... Napoleon and I, we both know a lot about the Eagle Fort the Lauderdale. Um, it's going to be taking place the entire weekend, November 8th through November 10th. Josie, let me interrupt you because uh, while you uh, you know about the Eagle, let's bring an <laughs> expert in <laughs> on yeah, the Eagle. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> we have a guest with us tonight to talk about the new Eagle in Wilton Manors. And we welcome the general manager of the brand new Eagle getting Yay. ready for its grand opening, and that's Chuck King. Yes. Chuck, good evening, and welcome to Happening.Fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> I, oh, I'm looking at your picture. That is uh, all uh, <laughs> regalia look. Yeah, cover um, everything. You're, you're set to go. Chuck, tell us about the Eagle and Wilton Manors and uh, what the community is all about for the sure, gay community. Um, we just opened about three weeks ago um, to a very successful <laughs> grand opening, uh, free grand opening, I should say. Um, we're a very underground uh, traditional nightclub. Um, <laughs> pardon me, I have a bit of a cold today. Um, much fun so at we, Eagle, huh? But, exactly. <laughs> so we bring in um, DJs from all over the world. Um, we have awesome, incredible local DJs. We play a lot of underground house tribal music on the weekends. Yeah. Um, and we have uh, all kinds of different events. But through the weekend, this weekend coming up, um, if you come into the Eagle anytime from Friday at opening at 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. on Sunday, you can just give us your email address. We'll give you a raffle ticket. And we have all kinds of great prizes. Um, we're going to be giving away gift baskets of liquor. Um, we're going give to away, give away gift certificates. Um, we have a, a wonderful basket from Southern Wine and Spirits. We have a basket from, um, from the Harry Bastard Beard and uh, uh, Hair Products. Lots of stuff um, to win in addition to all exactly. of the events. That, I mean, it's already, what, six different rooms. I, or There's a lot of different little subcategories of, of the Eagle that sell, of itself. There's exactly. different rooms exactly. for everybody to go in. Different things that happen every day. Always really good. I DJs. think it's interesting. This uh, this uh, very famous brand called the Eagle is finally coming to Wilton Manors in Ooh. Fort Lauderdale. This is the grand opening weekend, and so basically, what I'm hearing, Chuck, is starting Friday at three o'clock, you're going to have like 70 consecutive hours of fun. Is that exactly. what I've heard? Nonstop. Oh, that's nonstop. Nonstop <laughs> fun. That is going to be <laughs> fun for sure. And Lots of I'll things. see you there. <laughs> right. Sure. And one of the things that is being celebrated uh, on November 9th is Onyx Deep uh, South. Uh, the organization uh, of Onyx. Onyx is a, a brotherhood. It supports people and their kink lifestyles, especially when they may not have had support in any part of their life. So it really is a strong brotherhood in, uh, that is set on helping people express who they really are and their sexual self. Exactly. It's incredible exactly. what they do. We're That's lucky enough to be able national. to have their anniversary be um, the same weekend as their grand opening. So yeah. we will share our anniversary yes. next year. Absolutely. So what a super coincidence. Excited to That's have That's going to be yeah. on November 9th yeah. at 6 p.m. So this weekend... Uh, Chuck, any final thoughts on what you want to tell the South Florida community, why they should come out to the Eagle? Because um, it's the best nightclub in Wilton Manors. I have to tell you, I, I <laughs> did your little sneak peek. You invited me to come in and see it, and the place was absolutely jam-packed. This is line. a gigantic Giant club line. on Wilton Drive in Wilton Manors, and they put in a brand new sound and light system that oh my is God. amazing. It is it really amazing. It, it reminds it. me of New York City, yeah. and yes. I love it. Yeah. That doesn't, that's not something you can easily get when, in South no. Florida. We have a different vibe normally. Oh. 
Okay, Thank absolutely. So that's well, our number. Oh, come sorry. on out, and I'll buy you guys drinks this weekend. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm right. taking you up on that Wait. one. <laughs> Ready to go. All right. Can you say that's all, all of so, Florida, uh, Florida, America? Just come on out. This <laughs> <time>. <laughs> so, that's, so that's our number three out and about thing this week. Let me tell you about our out and about number two thing. In uh, For the gay community and the broad community is a big fundraiser. It's called the Smart Ride. Yeah. And the Smart Ride is one of the largest HIV AIDS fundraisers in the country. To date, they've raised over $9 million. And this year is the Sweet 16. Uh, it's the big 16th anniversary of it. That's right. We're showing you a little video. It's a 165-mile bike ride wow. between Miami and Key West over the overseas highway, over 70 bridges. It sounds like but lots and lots of the, fun. The commitment can be for anybody, even yeah. if you don't feel like you might be up to bike that much if you haven't done that. They are there to support you in any way, physically as well. So if you can't make it the whole way, they'll be there to help you out. There's no reason not to partake in this. Now, this, wow. uh, this year, I was going to say, is the Wizard of Oz theme, too. Oh, yeah. fun. Some now, uh, it's likely too late for you to participate as a rider, but in supporting the Smart Ride or one of the 600 riders, uh, support the cause and the efforts because it is one of the largest HIV AIDS fundraisers raisers in the country. And, and gorgeous, too. And our number two out and about thing this week. And then Perfect. out and about number one is the Circuit Festival Miami. <laughs> this is something finally coming to South Florida. It is, it's five full days from November 28th to December 2nd of just dozens of circuit parties, lots of incredible DJs. It is going to be a blast. The host hotel, the host hotel is the Dream South Beach Hotel. I want to go Ooh. just to see the hotel. Everything yeah, about fun. this dreams like a thing to fun, and I have to be there. This, Guys, you know where I'll be that weekend. Yeah, I was okay. Say, this is Thanksgiving weekend. It is one of the largest circuit parties in the world. Now, in the gay community, I understand a circuit party is a big dance event. And they have multiple venues from November 28th to December 2nd in downtown Miami and in Miami Beach. Some of the top DJs in the world at these seven parties will be included. I believe there are about 20 DJs coming in wow. for this event. Thousands and thousands of people from all over the world come in. Do you know if, in. They, I can already if the, feel the lineup beat is announced it. yet? Do you yeah, know? the lineup is announced, and uh, we, have a, uh, uh, we have a slide uh, that will show you exactly how to uh, look up the information about Circuit Festival Miami. All right, see and you on already the in my floor. Heart. As Napoleon told you, uh, that is the um, uh, number one thing in Out and About. Well, let's move to our final segment tonight, which is called our featured segment called The Fun Five. Ooh. Things to fun this week. These are the five best things to do. Now, we, we have All this so week, right? many things this week that are fun. We have a couple of honorable mentions. Yeah. First, so our, our, Josie. Our honorable mention uh, is Seed Food and Wine Festival. It is the premier plant-based food and wine festival taking place this weekend. Starts on Thursday, November 7th, and will go all the way through Sunday, November 10th with multiple events, celebrity dinners, uh, yappy hour for dogs. Uh, <laughs> well, it's uh, funny you just didn't know. Uh, uh, you, you can go there, and Chef and I can go, and I can go there and play with the puppies. Uh, you know, a tasting, a grand tasting event on Saturday, and I'll be there doing a demo with Cura Leaf. And uh, you know, there's just going to be and the burger battle, which is on Thursday, and I highly recommend you go. Yeah, I I really wish somebody connected with Happening Fun knew something about food and wine. <laughs> uh, at least there will be really options wish. for someone that can't eat the gluten and that tends to eat That's vegetarian. Right. It sounds like it's right up my alley. Absolutely. Yeah, Another eat, drink, grow, man. That's right. <laughs> Another honorable mention this week in our fun five things to do is muscle meets muscle. Now, this is a kind of interesting one. <laughs> it sounds like you won't be there. We... <laughs> oh. oh the, 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 the <laughs> you world, want the world, my wine? The world's Here. You want my water? Yeah. <laughs> no. Tell us about it, Al. No. We can cool them down right. anytime you need. How many times would you say one of the fun five things to do has to do with a gym? A lot. All right. Well, this weekend it does, and Ooh. that is at Zoo Gym in Fort Lauderdale. They are doing this cool event on Sunday, November 10th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. that is called Muscle Meets Muscle, and it's muscle cars 
Oh, uh, with fun. food trucks and uh, so entertainment. A, it really is family oriented. And it's a family event at okay. the gigantic zoo gym on commercial in Fort Lauderdale. And we thought this sounded like so much fun yeah. to play on words. Muscle meets muscle. I love muscle car. I've actually been to zoo gym, the executive producer of uh, Happening.Fun. Uh, also works out at this gym, and uh, the muscle monogram is true. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it feels like one of those old, straight out of 50 years ago gyms that's just like the, the weights and the grit and the oh. energy and oh, the purity. Fun. It has. No, Napoleon, by the way, makes fun of me in terms of the gym. He's in the old Soloflex days. Uh, he's oh, Soloflex? <laughs> yeah, I think that's is that, a, is that a word? Soloflex, right. I, I well, know. that was I, a thing. I don't know. I, I've been watching <laughs> yeah. American Horror Story. I'm in like You're going to have to Google mix, that one. Right? So <laughs> that's an honorable mention of our Fun Five this week, and that is Muscle Meets Muscle at the Zoo Gym. So now we are finally into our actual countdown. Number five on the countdown, and the Fun Five things to fun this week is the Veterans Day celebration at Doral Park. Par uh, the Doral Parade specifically. This is the tribute that we've finally been able to come up with. Uh, take a look. No. Right, let's watch uh -huh. this. <laughs> this is right. So it's, it, it's Veterans okay. Day for uh, it. This and is uh, the uh, video on uh, the Doral uh, Parade uh, this week, and it's on Monday. It's going to be on uh, November 11th. In Doral, it's the, bra uh, the big Veterans Day parade for Doral, uh, for South yeah. Florida, yeah, at the big 9 o'clock on really Monday. really a lot of people that are coming out to this, scouting, as, as all sorts of groups we, that are we want to give our, day. You know, we want to give our show our respects to all those servicemen and women who are out there risking their lives for our comfort and our freedom. That's right. And as we it. show you here for the parade and ceremony in Doral, it's the big one here in South Florida, but all of our communities all over our three-county area will be having events on Monday uh, for celebrating the top five. We also have a tribute video, I believe. Uh, we have a tribute video. We want to tell you one more thing in salute to Veterans Day. So watch this. myself recently. I suffer, you know, with PTSD. It just won't go away for a long time. I hope that you think twice about what you are doing to this nation's veterans who are willing to die to protect this nation. If the Army asked me to go again, to be deployed again, I would absolutely go. I may give out, but I never give up. in South Florida, we say thank you, and everyone at Happening.Fun salutes you uh, for a great Veterans Day. It Feel is good for you. There. Uh, number four countdown of the fun five things to fun this week, of course, is comedy and cocktails at Kravis Center in West Palm Beach, November 9th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, watch this funny video about Kyra Sultanovich. Okay, forget about that. Well, she will be featured uh, during this fundraiser for it's a charitable event for Palm Beach School for Autism. So go ahead and get out again November 9th at 7.30 p.m. Comedy and Absolutely. Cocktails. And the number three countdown to the fun five things to fun this week is the Erigo Dodge Ram Rodeo in West Palm Beach. And uh, we're going to show you this video uh, with no sound, but we're going to run the video to tell you about what is happening. Uh, I don't know, Napoleon, if you know, but there's rodeo in South Florida. Oh, I was ready for you to come in. You know, I knew the cow from Chick-fil-A or something that was oh, coming out of that. Oh, God. Ready to drop that right there. November 8th and 9th. 
love it will the be rodeo. at 8, uh, 8 p.m. It's at the South Florida Fairgrounds. This is a national event where cowboys and cowgirls from all over America, especially the West, Line come dance, into shot. South Florida. I don't know what it is about cowboys. I but know. <laughs> and uh, you like the cowboys? <laughs> I yeah. I like and, the cowboys. Uh, there's it's general, a whole general admission roping. tickets, but you can get VIP tickets that include food and beverages in the program. And that's our number three thing for this week. I want to learn to rope like that guy did just there. Number two in our countdown of the fun five things to fun this week in South Florida is the beauty and the beast in concert. Okay, if you guys just got to see the live Disney uh, display of Little Mermaid, then you probably haven't gotten your full fix yet. Come on out down here, watch Beauty and the Beast, and experience it in a full orchestra. There's nothing like that type of music. Wow. South Florida. It's uh, You can hear how Napoleon talks about Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. and the how I feel every time I'm this with you. This is because beautiful. this is a Broadway-trained yeah. actor, and when he sees anything <laughs> Broadway-related, he gets all giddy about it. I appreciate he it. Full orchestra. Oh, my God. Exactly. I so know. So it's our number two thing this week uh, in the Fun Five. No, well, number and number one countdown of the fun five things to fun this week is Megavix Beer and Music Festival at the Magic Casino, November 9th at 5 p.m. Um, you guys, do you know that Vanilla Ice and Rob Bates <laughs> is going to be there? You know, and that's kind of cool. First off, when I heard Vanilla Ice was going to be at this, I love the event. Ice, in and of ice itself, baby. Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> but what? also the fact that Chef Josie from Top Lisa, Chef Lisa too. Lisa, Lisa. is an uber uh, uh, mega mix beer kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I listen, I love people. Magic Casino. I play poker there. I've actually won a couple of tournaments. It's a fun place. I don't I don't understand why more it's name not. Dropping. Yeah, I don't know why it's not uh, being used more, honestly. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, this oh, weekend, the Mega Mix, and it is our number one thing in our countdown for the Boom. fun five things uh, to fun this week. Check it out. Well, uh, South Florida, that's it. You've seen the best things to fun this week week uh, in South Florida. Uh, your time is precious, and we know that. So rather than you going out and looking for yourself, allow us. Happening.fun works to find the best things to fund each week, so you don't have to. Yeah, well, and do you plan events? How about festivals, parties, and s there's so much more that you're planning. Just submit yeah. your event for consideration uh, for the fun five things to fun to submit at happening.fun. And that's absolutely true. Why do we do this? There's a lot of serious things going on in the world. Just turn on the news. Huh. The antidote, antidote to that is to subscribe, like us, and share happening.fun. We all deserve things to fun. We're here every Wednesday night for you at 7 p.m. live at happening.fun. Be celebrating. Be laughing. Be toasting. Be cheering. Be silly. Be childlike. Be sexy. <laughs> it sounds like these are all the exact definitions of the things to fun, exclusively at happening.fun. Good night. <laughs>